Hey there folks, today I've got a pretty bad OU battle against the Gothic Gangster. Basically, I really need to redo this team, probably from the ground up. Specs Jellicent just really wasn't a good idea. Scarf Hydragon does not hit nearly as hard as I would want it to. Metagross isn't really that great of a set. Uh, Celebi is useless except for when it's being a cleric. Uh, I actually like Crobat, and I have, a, I have amazing faith in Crobat, even though I haven't gotten it to work out quite right yet. But, I have faith that I can figure it out. Anyway, I'm gonna lead off with my Infernape. Unfortunately, he sends out Tentacruel. I'm gonna have to U-turn out. Banded U-turn actually does... <laughs> well, it does an, an okay amount of damage, considering it is a Tentacruel, and it has... you know, it resists the attack. I go out into Celebi, hoping that I can scare him out, bluffing, you know, carrying Psychic. Maybe he might think I'm spec Psychic, or something like that. Um, I go ahead and set up Stealth Rock, showing that I am not- I just expecting him to switch. Uh, instead he decides to stay and go for the Ice Beam. I can take that hit, fine. I can take that hit all day, actually. But, considering, you know, my C-Bomb isn't gonna re really be doing anything to him, so he can, you know, this is really not a good situation for me. I go for the Seed Bomb, as you see, it really doesn't do very much damage. He gets off his second layer of Toxic Spikes. Um, lame. But, you know, I only have three Pokemon on my team who even would get toxic anyway um, by the toxic spikes. Uh, the other three are in the air or immune, so it's really not that big of a deal. He goes for the rapid spin, blows away my rocks. Um, really, rocks aren't helping. Aren't going to help me too much. Uh, the only Pokemon he has that's weak to rocks is his Chandelure. But then again, Chandelure's kind of a big threat. It would be nice to limit um, the amount I can switch in and out. Anyway, he goes out into Ferrothorn, I just go for another seed bomb, just try to do some amount of damage to this tentacle. Really, I would have been so much better off going out into Metagross, which carries the Psychic, um, or hell, even, well, actually probably not, um, Crobat considering he carried the Ice Beam, but there would have been a lot better switches for me. Um, anyway, I go out into, Fer uh, into my Stella Luna, uh, predicting him to set up more entry hazards. Instead, he goes for the T-Wave, and that sucks! When you get your Crobat paralyzed, that just sucks, but I figure if he stays in and decides to set up, that's gonna be fine because I should actually still outspeed. Unfortunately, he goes out into Chandelure, predicting somehow the Heat Wave. I don't actually know that he was predicting the Heat Wave. Um, I, I just wish I'd gone for the Hidden Powered Ground or even the Air Slash, but oh well. Uh, now he's gonna go for the Psychic, um, it's just in case I decide to stay in like an idiot. Uh, he gets a crit. That crit, I mean, that was a, that's kind of a big deal because I could have taken another one and hit back with a Shadow Ball. Of course, I'm just yeah, actually gonna try to do this, uh, stay in with it. I don't know why he switched out actually, considering. Um, but I go for the Shadow Ball just you know, figure, sh figuring I could fodder off uh, Ringo. But, uh, he switches in Hydreigon, he, now I'm gonna just stay in, let him, uh, KO me with a Fire Blast. I am not sure whether he is Scarfed, Expert Belt, Life Orb, whatever, um, so I'm gonna send out my Hydreigon. If he's Scarfed, he's locked into, uh, Fire Blast. If he's not Scarfed, then I will outspeed. I go for the Draco Meteor, and I get a kill, so his Hydreigon goes down. And I am a happy camper. I've gotten a KO. Woo! So, not a complete shutout in this battle. Now he's going to go out into Reuniclus. Gonna need to switch out. Um, Fear in the Focus Blast and also minus two Scarfed um, Draco Meteor isn't really going to do that much. I go out into Celebi, again predicting the Focus Blast. He goes for the Trick Room and I'm like, oh crap! That's not going to be good because my team... Uh, except, well, actually, I've got a few Pokemon on my team who... Are pretty low on the speed. Uh, he goes for a Shadow Ball against my Celebi. That is going to hit like a ton of bricks. Um, and he's also going to get the special defense drop, which is adding insult to injury. I go for the Heal Bell, though. I, I figured I could take one of any attack that he was going to dish out. And that allows uh, my Stella Luna to be cured of its paralysis. So when this Trick Room ends, uh, it won't be useless. Uh, now out is going to come Metagross from my opponent. I don't know why he didn't just finish me off. He really should have just finished me off, in my opinion. I go out into my own Metagross here. Metagross is the slowest Pokemon on my team, and I actually am expecting to outslow this guy. Indeed I do, because I'm running Brave Nature. Not sure if I'm running zero EVs, um, or zero IVs rather, in speed, but I'm running, I'm definitely running a Brave Nature because it's a quote-unquote mid set. So, uh, I'm gonna, I should be able to KO this guy with another Earthquake. Um, anyone who he sends in, I don't think, well, I, no one's gonna enjoy taking an Earthquake. He, interestingly, keeps his Metagross in as I go for the Earthquake and get the KO. So that's a second KO for me. Um, that's pretty awesome. So, hey, the, uh, I am now, I, I'm actually now in the lead, although 
you know, Celebi is basically dead. The, I missed I missed the fact that the Twisted Dimensions returned to normal. I am so pissed at myself that I missed that because I was like, well, I will outspeed his shan uh, outslow his Chandelure, but I missed that crucial misplay, and now my Metagross is going to be down, um, and my yeah, that sucks. I go out into my uh, Hydreigon. Uh, I just can go for the Dark Pulse to KO. Uh, to KO. Um, he predicts that, goes out into Ferrothorn, really ain't gonna do jack to his Ferrothorn. It's gonna force me to switch out. Um, that is really, really sucky for me. I now go out into Celebi basically as Death Fodder, uh, just needing to have someone coming out of free switch, but unfortunately he decides to switch out as well, goes out into Chandelure. Um, not sure why kind of a weird move, but, um, so Toxic and, uh, Leftovers are going to, um, cancel each other out. I go out into my Hydreigon, he goes for a Fire Blast, I'm gonna resist that, and I'm going to outspeed, but here, I'm gonna predict him to go out into Ferrothorn again, because why wouldn't you, and I go for the Fire Blast, unfortunately he decides to predict that, stays in, and now, with Flash Fire boost, he's gonna manage to take out my Hydreigon, so another crucial misplay on my part. And I'm just playing like crap today. I'm sorry, folks. I'm really sorry. But yeah, so there's two problems with this team. One is that I'm a complete idiot. As a general concept, I'm a complete idiot. And the other problem is really that, um, is that this is not the best team. And I need to redo this team. Anyway, he goes for the Psychic, is going to manage to take out Stella Luna in one hit with Psychic. Um, lame. Oh well. Got into Hanuman. Um, my. Electromaclock, my Infernape, and here I have a choice. I actually forgot that Celebi was still alive, so I have a choice of who, what to get locked into. I go for the Stone Edge, uh, knowing that it hits all of his Pokemon, at least regular. Uh, it hits all of his Pokemon, although, um, what is it? One of his Pokemon resists it, uh, Ferrothorn. I go for another Stone Edge, and I am going to manage to get the KO on Tentacruel. Luckily, no misses. That's fine. Um, now, yeah, I'm gonna, my health is going to get a little bit lower. Uh, now, out is going to come Reuniclus, and here I'm going to go for Stone Edge. Now, even with a crit, I'm not going to KO, um, but what the hell, I'll try it. Maybe he'll do something stupid and go for the Trick Room. I actually do get a crit, and he survives as a sliver of HP, but again, I'd count it. I'd known that it wasn't going to KO, even with a crit. But I really didn't have many other options. Here I realized that I do have Celebi around and I can, you know, try to stall out a few sleep turns or something. Uh, he goes for the Psychic against Celebi. Celebi's going to resist that, but even so, at that range of health, it's dead. I was just hoping and praying that maybe I could survive. Now, anyway, um, go out into Hanuman. I could take this guy out with a Mach Punch, but instead I um, just think maybe he'll switch out or something. Uh, and maybe I can, you know, and, and I didn't want to get locked into a move that would guarantee me a loss, which was what Mach Punch would have done. So anyway, that's the end of the game. I sucked. So long, folks.